why Evan Mobley is the real rookie of the year. Hello everyone and welcome back to my new video. Mobley sat atop our first rookie power rankings largely because of his switch ability, rim protection, shooting stroke, feel for the game and overall winning impact. But it's his flashes of ball handling, shot creation and passing at 7 feet that have been most eye-opening, giving him potential to not only win rookie of the year, but also evolve into one of the league's best bigs sooner than evaluators anticipated. Although he had some issues on Monday creating against Brooklyn Nets rookie wing Kessler Edwards, Wobbly is generating 0.944 points per chance as a scorer on isolations over the last two months, an increase from the 0.76 he posted the first two months of the season. Coach JB, by Kerstaff is finding even more ways for Mobley to handle the ball in space, utilizing his remarkable footwork, ball skills and passing feel to either create his own shot or find an open teammate. Over his past five games, Mobley is averaging four assists in 37.2 minutes, creating offense for teammates out of a variety of actions. He'll bring the ball up the floor off a made basket like a jumbo guard. He'll find wings slipping to the rim to exploit off-ball switches. He'll bust out of the corner for Jarrett Allen handoffs, pulling up from two if the defense goes under or striding it out to the rim if it gets caught. Maybe most impressively, he's unleashing a hesitation crossover you see mostly from point guards, shifting his body weight while the ball hangs in his right hand before planting his right foot and sweeping the ball off the hardwood to his left hand in one fluid motion. Mobley can pull up, attack or pass off that, making him quite a unique threat off the bounce at his size. He hasn't made a three-pointer since deck, 28, and he's still not quite the rebounder his length would suggest, even as he leads all rookies in rebounds. But even with Cade Cunningham's recent surge in Detroit, and the consistent all-around production of Orlando's France Wagner, Mobley remains the most impactful first-year player in the NBA, with glimpses that suggest he'll develop into a perennial all-star as soon as next season. To be honest, I don't think there's anyone who is going to catch Mobley in the Rookie of the Year race. He's just been that good. Even better, he's playing incredibly well on a team that's actually winning games where he's impacting that outcome on both ends of the floor. He's easily going to be a guy mentioned regularly in the Defensive Player of the Year race in the future, and he's already amongst one of the best young defenders in the league. For being a 7-footer, Mobley moves with ease on defense, allowing him to get out and guard guys on the perimeter and not get killed like most bigs do. Just look at how he denies Kyrie Irving space even as the Nets guard goes into his endless bag of crafty hemp. Even when Irving does catch Mobley with a crossover, his ridiculous length allows him to recover well and get a hand in Irving's face. HTTPS divided by divided by streamable.com slash Fortia FFH. Mobley's switchability as a defender makes him incredibly valuable to what the Cavaliers do on that end of the floor. And he's played a significant role in Cleveland's defense going from 25th in the NBA a season ago to third in the league now. But while Mobley's defense has been the standout factor since the start of the season, what's really started to come along nicely is his versatility on offense. Mobley moves so gracefully and light for someone of his size. It's just absurd. Cleveland is calling for his number a bit more on offense now and he's delivering both as a scorer and as a passer. With half the season in the books, Mobley's got a firm grasp on the top spot for Rookie of the Year. But that doesn't mean one of the players mentioned can't challenge him for it. We'll just have to wait and see how the second half unfolds. Team success is not something that usually has relevance in Rookie of the Year discussions. This season could be different. The best rookies are normally drafted by bad teams without realistic hopes of playoff contention. However, Mobley is spearheading helped an early season explosion by the Cavaliers, a dynamic that will no doubt work in his favor with voters. The Cavaliers' win-loss record is marked by multiple statement wins. They've already beaten the La Clippers, Denver Nuggets and New York Knicks by double digits. Cleveland's lone win against a team definitely destined for the lottery came versus Cade Cunningham and the Detroit Pistons. It was especially great for Mobley's ROTY case to see him absolutely dominate against the Celtics. His team down 19 points in the late third quarter, Mobley led a spirited comeback that was capped off by a huge block on Jason Tata. He scored 12 points in the fourth quarter for Cleveland. The biggest reason why Mobley will win Rookie of the Year may simply be that his greatest competitors aren't having great years. Cunningham, the no, one overall pick, is shooting 31.5% overall and 23.4% on threes. Second overall pick Jalen Green hasn't been quite that inefficient but sometimes looks as lost on both ends as any rookie in basketball. The biggest competition outside of the top two picks will definitely come from either Chris Duart or Scotty Barnes. 
Duart is one of the league's most pleasant surprises. Averaging 14.3 points and shooting 40% on three-pointers despite a difficult diet of attempts. However, the fact the Indiana Pacers will likely be in the lottery could derail his case. Barnes is a great prospect and the Toronto Raptors got a crucial building when they selected him fifth overall. He has marginally better numbers than Mobley. But as with Duart, team success will be the key pro Mobley argument when it comes to awarding the top rookie. What Barnes and Duart are doing in their NBA debuts shouldn't go overlooked. But Mobley has simply been better and more consistent than them on both ends of the floor, establishing himself as not just a future star for the Cavaliers, but a clear early favorite for Rookie of the Year. The Cleveland Cavaliers are sitting pretty so far in the 2021-2022 season. Sure, the Cavs are no longer the top team in the East, but considering the team was expecting to compete in a few years, and are sitting in the top portion of the Eastern Conference playoff seating. We'd say that's a lovely and unexpected surprise. A lot of that is due to Evan Mobley. The Cavaliers are sitting sixth in the East right now and are arguably playing in the toughest division in the NBA. Sharing space with Eastern Conference powers the Chicago Bulls and Milwaukee Bucks normally the Cavs wouldn't be seen in a very favorable light. After all, the Cavaliers haven't been to the playoffs without LeBron James on their roster since the late 1990s. Yet, James isn't coming back and the Cavaliers are surging ahead. While there's a lot of people on the roster who can get some credit, Jarrett Allen, Kevin Love, Darius Garland come to mind. The biggest name that has seemingly impacted the perception of the team is that of rookie standout Mobley. Evan Mobley is leading the turnaround for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The earnest and soft-spoken Cavs player may not be the best player on the team today, but it's clear that his impact on the team isn't going unnoticed. He's currently the odds-on favorite in Las Vegas to win the NBA Rookie of the Year award and there generally appear to be people who think he could at least make an impact on the Defensive Player of the Year award voting. He's only just behind Allen in Defensive Raptor for the Cavs, with Allen coming in at plus 4.0 and Mobley at plus 3.5. Both are very impressive numbers. The Cavs haven't had a player this good, and this young in a very long time. This unit is very much a team effort, as we've seen some of the biggest names miss some time but the squad remains a competitor. That's proof that the team is well constructed. Yet for Cleveland to be seen as a threat, that's mostly due to Mobley and his impact on the team's defense. He's changed the game in Cleveland, and he appears to be the perfect young man to lead the organization in a few years. It's still far too early to bestow huge honors on him just yet. Fans should be very excited to see how things go for the Rookie of the Year frontrunner. This is all for today folks. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the future updates. See you till the next video. Thank you for watching.